What's going on YouTube? Gabriel Say, aka The Truth representing Fearless Academy. Just getting ready to leave for the gym. Gonna train legs just before I go, just making sure I've got all my pre-workout supplements. So I've got my Crealkaline, got my BCAAs, and I've got my fat burners. Also got my pre-workout, which I'm currently using, which you might have seen in a previous video, Pure Labs Turbo, which I found quite good. Time for legs. Let's go. As always, cardio to start. I say warm up on a bike. About five minutes. Reason why we do it? Some say to warm up the knees. Some say to get the blood flowing. I do it because I'm old. Say what? Yes, YouTube. All right, so leg day. We decided, as always, kick it off with leg extensions. This is a quadruple drop set but a light quadruple drop set just to get the quads pumped now this actually puts a lot of pressure on my knees and I've, I've had patella tendonitis for quite a while I've developed it whilst playing American football and it's kind of stuck so I've been having to go a little bit lighter on the leg extensions not go max just work on a pump as opposed to lifting heavy. So then when we went on to the front squat on the Smith machine, now I know a lot of you are going to be asking the question, why are you doing squats on the Smith machine? There is a reason for this and that is because we wanted to keep the alignment straight down and up so we know that we're getting full focus on the quads. We're not power lifters, we're not weight lifters, we're bodybuilding. We're all about targeting muscle groups and this is what we need to do to get the outer sweep on the quads or well, that's what we feel we need to do so that's what we're gonna do. Now this is the point where I felt a twinge in my knee. Not gonna lie, scared the bejesus out of me. But where is it? Yeah, there. I don't know what it was, but yeah, some, something felt a bit weird, so I dropped the weight down a little bit, left my ego at the door, and decided not to go heavier, but actually go a bit lighter to finish the set. Oh, cheeky. Alright, so then we do have the normal squat in there, so we went on to the back squat. As you can see, Naisha keeps her feet facing forward, and that's purely because she has a very dominant inner thigh. So we're trying to work the outer sweep. So her depth will come to parallel and back up, not too low, and feet facing forwards. Whereas for me, I keep my feet facing outwards because I need to work my inner thighs a bit more. As you can see, I, I didn't really go that heavy. After feeling that twinge, I still wanted to get the workout done. I didn't want to just leave without doing anything, but I had to train smart. Hence the title of the video. So I tried 160 kilos, I put what it is in pounds below, and I felt that same twinge on my knee even with the knee wraps. So decided to leave it there and then go on to a low foot leg press. <coughs> Excuse me. Now if you look at the the angle of the 
of the seat on the first set that Naishi did. It was quite high up, so we put it back down so that we could get a bit more range of motion because it's quite low to get more activation on the quads. But at that first set, I tried it with that with the seat high, and I just felt all in the hamstring. So I decided something needs to change. So I dropped it back, and I felt it more on the quads. Now this is mainly for outer quads. So again, we kept the foot straight, and we did about three or four sets before doing a drop set. I just fast forward this bit so y'all can see the drop set. Now this actually didn't put much pressure on my knee which I was um, quite surprised about. It might be that thing of when you have a niggling injury, especially with big compound movements like squats, you then start thinking about it more so then it throws your alignment off. Whereas if I wasn't thinking about it, it probably would have been fine. So I took it easy on this, I didn't go massively heavy. Can you believe there's teeth box in the hamstring coach? Someone actually found it that difficult to complete a set that they dug their teeth into the sweaty, filth ridden, nasty ass bench. I don't even want to know who that is. Who wants to hear Naisha on the commentary? Yes, as you can see here, she's she's a little bit shy, so we need a bit of encouragement. Thumbs up on this video if you want to hear Naisha on the next commentary. So this is where Naisha and I split on our different paths. She's actually doing hamstrings tomorrow. I just touched on hamstrings a little bit. So she decided to do shoulders as she is also about nine weeks out from a show. And here we go. This is what my legs are looking like at the moment. Not quite happy, but you know, it's getting there. But anyway, till next time, peace.